Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawa. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in, in which, which we partake of Christ, Christ his, his sufferings are remembered, our minds, minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, you, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the sorrowful mysteries. The first sorrowful mystery is the agony of Jesus in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery is a crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion and death of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother, Mother of mercy. mercy. Hail, Hail our life, our sweetness, sweetness and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant to beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of Saint Joseph by the help of his prayers May your church continue to serve her, Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. 
O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to the holy preaching. In speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share to all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord, Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, Pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic. Pray for us. Please be seated. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is the Solemnity of Saints Peter and Paul, Apostles. Saints Peter and Paul are the principal pillars of a church founded by Christ. Saint Peter was chosen by Christ to be his first vicar on earth. He was endowed with the power of the keys of the kingdom of heaven and given the role of the shepherd of Christ's flock. Saint Paul was chosen to form part of the College of Apostles by Christ himself after his dramatic conversion on the road to Damascus. Selected to bring Christ's name to all peoples, he was a great missionary advocate of pagans and apostles of the Gentiles. We will now have the morning prayer of the church integrated with a celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us, let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. The Lord is God, the mighty God the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock his shepherds. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they have seen all of my works. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Forty years I endured that generation, I said. They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I saw in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Please be seated. I know the one whom I have trusted, and I am certain that he, the just judge, has power to keep safe what he has entrusted to me until that day. O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting, 
my body pines for you like a dry weary land without water so i gaze on you in the sanctuary to see you and your strength and your glory for your love is better than life my lips will speak your praise so i will bless you all my life in your name i will lift up my hands my soul shall be filled as with a banquet my mouth shall praise you with joy on my bed i remember you on you i muse through the night for you have been my help in the shadow of your wings i rejoice my soul clings to you your right hand holds me fast glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever amen god's grace in me has not been without fruit it is always at work in me Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Light, nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All the birds of the air, bless the Lord. All your beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. I have fought the good fight. I have run the race to the finish. I have kept my faith. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings and chains and their nobles and fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all is faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand.
Let us pray. O oh God, who on the solemnity of the apostles Peter and Paul give us the noble and holy joy of this day, grant we pray that your church may in all things follow the teaching of those through whom she received the beginnings of right religion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, King Herod laid hands upon some members of the church to harm them. He had James, the brother of John, killed by the sword. And when he saw that this was pleasing to the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. It was the Feast of Unleavened Bread. He had him taken into custody and put in prison, under the guard of four squads of four soldiers each. He intended to bring him before the people after Passover. Peter thus was being kept in prison, but prayer by the church was fervently being made to God on his behalf. On the very night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter, secured by double chains, was sleeping between two soldiers, while outside the door guards kept watch on the prison. Suddenly the angel of the Lord stood by him, and a light shone in the cell. He tapped Peter on the side and awakened him, saying, Get up quickly. The chains fell from his wrist. An angel said to him, Put on your belt and your sandals. He did so. Then he said to him, Put on your cloak and follow me. So he followed him out, not realizing that what was happening through the angel was real. He thought he was seeing a vision. They passed the first guard, then the second, and came to the iron gate leading out to the city which opened for them by itself. They emerged and made their way down to an alley, and suddenly the angel left him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. I, Paul, am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. The Lord stood by me and gave me strength, so that through me the proclamation might be completed, and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil threat, and will bring me safe to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever, Amen. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets he said to them but who do you say that I am Simon Peter said in reply you are the Christ the son of the living God Jesus said to him in reply blessed are you Simon son of Jonah for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you but my heavenly father and so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. My dear sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Mga minamahal na kapatid sa ating Panginoong Iso Kristo, pinagdiriwang po natin ngayon ang dakilang kapistahan ng dalawang itinuturing na haligi ng ating simbahan, si San Pedro at si San Pablo. Pinagdiriwang natin sa isang okasyon ang kanilang pagkamartir. Bagamat makikita po natin ng dalawang ito'y maraming pagkakaiba sa maraming bagay. Sa kanilang kapanganakan, si San Pedro ay pinanganak sa Bethsaida sa May Galilea. Si San Pablo naman ay sa present day Turkey. Doon siya isinilang ang kanilang salita'y magkaiba. Ang pangunahing salita ni San Pedro ay Aramaic, samantalang si San Pablo ay Griego ang kanilang, kanyang native language. Makikita rin po natin na ang kalang hanap buhay ay magkaiba. Si San Pedro ay isang mangingisda. Si San Pablo naman ay tinuturing na isang scholar matalino. Ang edukasyon nila ay magkaiba rin. Si San Pedro, marahil nagkaroon lamang ng basic education. At si San Pablo naman ay isang scholar na sinasabing nakapag-aral sa isang universidad doon sa Tarsus. Nang tawagin sila ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo, magkaiba rin ang konteksto. Si San Pedro, habang siya'y nangingisda doon sa baybayin ng Galilea, Si San Pablo naman, nang tawagin ng ating Panginoong Yesus, nanduroon siya sa daan sa Damascus habang kanyang pinag-uusig, pinapatay ang mga Kristiyano. Doon siya nagkaroon ng conversion. Nang tawagin sila ng ating Panginoong Yesus Kristo, aba si Pedro sa Ebanghelyo, narinig natin na siya ay tinawag na bato at ginawang pundasyon ng ating simbahan. Samantalang si San Pablo naman ay tinatawag na Apostle to the Gentiles. Siya ay nangaral sa iba't ibang bansa doon sa mga pagano. 
samantalang San Pedro ay doon sa mga Hudyo. Dumating din ang pagkakataon na magkaibang kanilang desisyon sa buhay, magkaibang kalang opinion. Si San Pedro, nais niyang tanggapin sa simbahan yung lamang mga Hudyo, yung mga circumcised, kaya yung mga convert ng panahon na yun, ang gusto ni San Pedro ay magpatuloy rin. Samantalang sa San Pablo, ang sabi niya, tatanggapin natin basta yung isang tao ay sumasampalataya kay Kristo. Basta kaya niyang sabihin, Jesus Christ is the Lord. Ang Panginoong Yesus ay Panginoon. No? Ay ba pwede nang makaanib sa ating pananampalataya? Kinorek wari ni San Pablo si San Pedro. Pero pwede nating makita na meron din mga bagay na kung saan waring sila'y nagkaisa. Nagkaisa sila sa pagsalungat sa ating Panginoong Kristo Si San Pablo sa pamagitan ng persecution, San Pedro naman sa pamagitan ng kanyang denial sa ating Panginoon. Bagamat marami ang kalang pagkakaiba at meron din pagkakaisa, Sila, pareho silang tinawag sa pagkamartir nang tanggapin nila ang ating pananampalataya inialay po nila ang kanilang buhay nang tanggapin nila ang ating pananampalataya makikita natin na hindi naging madali ang kanilang pagsunod sa ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo halimbawa po si San Pedro sa ating Ibanghelyo ng kanyang sabihin ng katotohanan na si Jesus ang Mesiyas, siyang Kristo, siyang tagapagligtas. No? Itinuloy ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo sa Ebanghelyo na sabihin sa kanya na ang Mesiyas ay dapat magbata ng pasakit. Nang tagapagligtas ay aarestuhin, pahihirapan, papako at mamamatay sa krus. Abay, sinalungat po ito ni San Pedro at ang sabi niya, Panginoon, hindi ko po itutulot yan, hindi ko papahintulot yan na mangyari sa'yo yan over my dead body. No? Kung ganyan ang gagawin na sa'yo. Naging hadlang si San Pedro. Kaya kung ngayon ay pinupuri siya ng ating Panginoong Kristo sa susunod na eksena, makikita naman po natin ang sabi sa kanya ng ating Panginoon. Pinagsabihan siya, siguro siya o pinagsabihan siya ng pinakang masakit na pananalita na maririnig natin sa ating Panginoon. Get behind me, Satan, ang sabi sa kanya ng ating Panginoong Isok Kristo. Bagamat talagang nasaktan San Pedro, pero makikita po natin na hindi naman siya iniwanan ng ating Panginoong Isok Kristo. Ang kanyang buhay ay hindi smooth sailing yung kanyang paglalakbay. Maraming twists and turns, palikuliko, maraming high and lows. Pagkatapos makikita natin na nung duron sila sa hardin ng Hetsemani, nung ating Panginoong Kristo ay aarestuhin by si San Pedro ay nagbunot ng tabak, pinagayong tenga ng isa sa mga kawal. Pero siya'y pinatigil ang ating Panginoon. Hindi pwede ang violenteng pamamaraan. Marahil nasaktan muli si San Pedro at iniisip o hindi niya maintindihan kung antong desisyon ng ating Panginoong Kristo, But he was not rejected by Christ. Noong ating Panginoong Kristo ay magpapakasakit na, pasan-pasan ang krus, San Pedro ay sumusunod sa ating Panginoon but from a distance, malayo-layo. At pagkatapos ay itinakwil niya ang ating Panginoong Kristo ng tatlong beses. Pero hindi pa rin siya iniwanan ng ating Panginoong Kristo. Noong nabuhay ng muli ang ating Panginoong Kristo na si Pedro ay nangingisda, nagpakita muli sa kanyang ating Panginoong Kristo at siya ay tinanong muli tatlong beses, Do you love me? Mahal mo ba ako? Waring ibinabalik ng ating Panginoong Kristo ang kanyang dangal. Makikita po natin ang track record ni Pedro na hindi flawless ang kanyang track record. Ako po, maraming pagkukulang. Merong mga pagkakamali. Pero sa kabila nito, siya pa rin ang pinili ng ating Panginoong Yesus. 
sa kabila ng kanyang kahinaan, makikita natin na hindi siya iniwanan ng ating Panginoon. Doon sa tradisyon ng ating simbahan, isang kwento doon sa Roma, doon si Pedro'y tatakas no? sa persecution, kilala sa kwentong Cuba dish. Aba, nasa lubong ni Pedro ang ating Panginoong Iso Kristo sa daan, sa Appian Way, at tinanong niya ang ating Panginoon, Lord, saan po kayo pupunta? Sabi ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo doon sa Roma para ipakong muli. Nabatid ni San Pedro ng Panginoong Iso Kristo, hindi siya iniiwanan. Nanduroon lagi kasakasama niya sa lahat ng bahagi ng kanyang paglalakbay. At nagkaroon siya ng lakas ng loob at bumalik muli sa Roma at doon siya'y ipinako sa krus ng patiwarik. Ang buhay ni San Pedro at ang buhay ni San Pablo ay maaring maging salamin ng sarili nating buhay. Pwedeng maging salamin ng sarili nating paglalakbay bilang mga Kristiyano. Pwedeng maging salamin ng sarili nating pananampalataya, ng ipahayag natin o tanggapin natin ang ating pananampalataya nung tayo binyagan sa pamagitan marahil ng ating ninong at ninang. Nakikita po natin na marami tayong pagkukulang sa ating pananampalataya na isa sa buhay ba natin ng tahasan ng ating pananampalataya o tayo'y maraming o tayo ng lalamig na sa ating pananampalataya. Marami bang pagkakataon sa buhay natin na sinisipan natin ng ating Panginoong Diyos nang dumating ang matinding pagsubok sa ating buhay. May mga pagkakataon ba sa buhay natin na halos nawawala na tayo ng pag-asa sa kabila ng ating pananampalataya? Meron ba mga pagkakataon sa buhay natin na halos hindi na tayo nagtitiwala dahil sa laki ng pagsubok na ating pinagdaraanan. Katulad ni San Pedro at ni San Pablo, hilingin natin sa ating Panginoong Diyos na naway hindi masayang ang mga grasya na pinagkakalob sa atin ng ating Panginoon. Sapagkat sa buhay ni Pedro, bagamat marami siyang pagkukulang, hindi siya perfecto, hindi naman nasayang ang grasya ng ating Panginoon sa bandang huli pareho silang nag-alay ng kanilang buhay. Yun din po ang panawagan sa atin ngayon na sa halimbawa ni San Pedro at San Pablo nawa ang mga grasya ng ating Panginoong Diyos ay hindi masayang sa buhay natin. Kung bubuksan lamang natin ang ating sarili, makikita po natin ang ating Panginoong Yesus patuloy na nandiriyan sa lahat ng bahagi ng ating paglalakbay. Jesus never abandons us. He never rejects us. He never give up on us. Lagi niya tayong sinasamahan. Umasa po tayo sa pamagitan ng ating pananampalataya at tulad ni San Pedro at ni San Pablo ng Panginoong Diyos naway bigyan ng katuparan no? ang misyon na pinagkakaloob sa atin ng Panginoon. Bagamat tayo'y magkakaiba, katulad ni San Pedro at San Pablo, ang kapangyarihan ng Panginoong Diyos ay pwedeng patuloy na kumilos sa buhay ng bawat isa sa atin. Please all stand. Together, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For as men and for salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, 
in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. We bring our intentions to the Father with that same faith of the Apostles Peter and Paul, with the faith of the fisherman on whom the Church is built, and the faith of the teacher of so many nations. The response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That Pope Francis, the successor of St. Peter, may bear the keys of the kingdom with wisdom and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That missionaries in foreign lands may have the zeal with which St. Paul had in bringing the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may love our faith and eagerly share it with others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are suffering an account of their faith may find strength in the blood shed by the apostles. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those who may promise to pray, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the bishops of the Philippines and for our brothers and ministry at St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Raymond of Penafort, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag and for our personal intentions, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may be worthy of the crown of righteousness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God and Father, hear the prayers of this community gathered in the faith of the apostles and helped by their intercession. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. May the prayer of the Apostles, O Lord, accompany the sacrificial gift that we present your name for consecration, and may their intercession make us devoted to you in celebration of the sacrifice, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right and just, our duty and our salvation, 
always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for by your providence, the blessed apostles Peter and Paul bring us joy. Peter, foremost in confessing the faith. Paul, its outstanding preacher. Peter, who established the early church from the remnant of Israel. Paul, master and teacher of the Gentiles that you call. And so, each in a different way, gathered together the one family of Christ and revealed together throughout the world. They share one martyr's crown, and therefore, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts of pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Bishop, Fidelis his assistant Bishop in all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph her husband, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him O god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever Let us pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracely grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, as the apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and gracefully grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Love of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Simon Peter said, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we believe and are convinced that you are the Christ, the Son of God. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that it would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Simon, Simon Peter, Peter said, Lord, Lord to, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we believe and we are convinced that you are the Christ, the Son of God. Alleluia. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, who have been renewed by this sacrament, so to live in the church, that persevering in the breaking of the bread and the teaching of the apostles, we may be one heart and one soul, made the steadfast in your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming pong salamat sa inyong pagbisita sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag at ganoon din po sa inyong pag-isa sa ating banal na misa. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our most ascended, go in peace. Thanks be to God. Shall have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our helps in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us the strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, that the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.